Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I wanna say a pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Tonight, I'm gonna be sharing a quick and easy recipe with you guys. Kids are going back to school and I wanna make some comfort food for them. So I'm gonna be making some oven cooked chicken with some turmeric. It's a new way that I didn't show you guys yet how to make this chicken. Some mashed potatoes and some green peas and um, carrots. So just a little bit of a comfort food for the kids before they start school tomorrow. If you wanna see how I'm doing this, come on down and let's get cooking. First, we're gonna start seasoning our chicken. And I'm gonna go in with some salt for flavor. And you can add salt to taste, but I will leave all the measurements in the description below. We're gonna go in with some black pepper. My oven is ready. We wanna put a nice amount of black pepper. I already washed the chicken with lime and I score them a little. I wanna add some dried oregano because it gives a nice flavor. So right on top, we're gonna sprinkle that. And I'm going in with some turmeric powder we're making a different flavor chicken today and this is gonna come out with a nice color plus turmeric is very good for us so let's add enough and then I'm gonna add some of my green seasoning and this contains of garlic green onions broadleaf thyme and fine leaf thyme and mariburi pepper. We wanna put a good amount. And now I'm gonna go in with my hands and mix everything together, massage those flavor into the chicken, and we're gonna put them into the oven. Now I finished seasoning the chicken, and I love that beautiful color that I am seeing on it right now. I can see seasoning all over. I'm gonna put these bad boys into my oven and I will cook them until they're nice and soft and tender. While the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna peel up some potatoes to make some mashed potatoes. My kids are starting back school tomorrow, so I wanna make some nice comfy food for them tonight. So I finished peeling the potatoes. I wash them and I cut them into small chunks so I'm gonna put this on the stove with some water and a little bit of salt and I'm gonna cook them until they're nice and soft and tender so we're gonna check on our potatoes and we want to make sure that they're nice and soft so I usually cut one yep and this is done I'm gonna strain the potatoes and we're gonna start adding the ingredients to the mashed potato. So this chicken been cooking about 35 minutes now. I'm gonna flip them, I like to flip them so the upside can go down into that juice. And by the time the juice is completely dried out, our chicken will be ready for dinner. And I love that nice yellow color that I'm seeing on the outside right now. Our turmeric is working. So I will put these back and I'm gonna come back when they're done. So now that I drained the potato, I'm gonna add some butter and we wanna add a good portion here. I'm gonna also be grating a nice clove of garlic into the potato. That 
really adds good flavor and garlic is also good for us. So if you don't like fresh garlic in your potatoes, you can also add some garlic powder. I like to go in with a piece of fresh onion as well. And these add really nice flavor to your mashed potato. You can also use onion powder instead. So now I added my sour cream and a little bit of milk. And I will be mashing the potato until I have a smooth texture. And I'll show you guys what it looks like right after this. So our mashed potatoes is done. And I like when it have like a smooth texture. I'm gonna dish it out into my bowl here now. And this is smelling delicious. Look at that. Look at this beautiful mashed potato. Whenever I make mashed potatoes in my house, I think of it as Christmas or Thanksgiving. Right, Natalie? Yes. I'm gonna quickly slice some carrots to make some vegetable on the side for this dinner. And I'm using some carrots and some green peas. So in my pan, I have some butter. I'm gonna be adding my carrots. I want to add some, while the carrot is cooking, I'm going to add some grated garlic because vegetable with butter and garlic goes very well together. So I'm going to grate my garlic right into the carrots. So we're going to mix in the garlic and I'm going to add some onion. We're going to mix that onion in. And this is a very simple way to prepare vegetables and they taste amazingly good. I'm going to add some green peas into there. One cup. Two cup of green peas and we're gonna mix this and the combination of green peas with carrots is delicious healthy and beautiful in the eyes as well this is frozen green peas so I have to cook them a little before we get a nice beautiful finish I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt my stove was low and low and so a little pinch of salt goes a long way and the carrots and the peas is really sweet so it gives a nice flavor to go with our chicken tonight I'm adding some black pepper and we're going to mix that again. I'll show you when it's done. So our green peas is done cooking. And if you see that the color changed from that frosted green now to a nice glossy green, that in, that's an indication that the peas is cooked. I'm going to turn my stove off and I will start plating up very soon. So here it is my friends, our beautiful oven cook turmeric chicken, looking very nice and delicious. I have here our green peas and carrots, and I have the star of tonight's show, which is the mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna play it up soon, but before I play it up, I have a success story. Our friend, one of my viewers and subscribers, Bibi Shaliza Hussein, followed my recipe for egg ball, palauri, and mango sour. 
and it came out so nice so delicious looking she's very happy with the result so i have some pictures to share of our friend bb who's saying success story when i get this success story i feel very happy and proud so big up to our friend bb shaliza who's saying tonight right after this i'll show you those pictures So here it is guys, my comfort food tonight. I'm just gonna dig in for a piece of the chicken and I'm gonna go right here. You can see how nice and soft this chicken is cooked. And I like to put some mashed potato on that. And I'm gonna let you guys know how this tastes. So. Cheers to all my viewers and subscribers. Mmm. Amazing. The mashed potato. Mm -mm -mm. It's so smooth, so flavorful with the garlic, the grated garlic and onion, and have a delicious smooth texture. The chicken is cooked so nice and so soft and well seasoned and the flavor is mm, amazing. Combination with some veggie on the side. This is just a perfect meal before the kids start back school tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta have your veggies. So guys, if you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, you only have to subscribe to one video. Until then, all those who are starting back school tomorrow, I wish them a very good turnout back to school and a very good semester this year. Stay blessed, stay safe, love you guys. And I want to wish my cousin, Hemanti Passad from Essequibo, a happy, happy birthday. Didn't want to forget that. So if you're watching this video, cuz, I hope you were, they spoil you today and hope all your wishes and dreams for your birthday will come true. Until then, bye for now.